Hi everyone, I'm back today with a little vlog for you. Um, so basically, where is this massive shadow coming from on my head? I'm just in the car and I thought I'm just going to head over to Tesco's, my nearest big Tesco's, just to see if they have the Wicked Kitchen range because everyone on my social media feed is raving about it. I haven't even been to see it in person yet. Um, I'm hoping they've got it. So I'm just going to go and scour it out and maybe pick up a few bits because I could do with a little bit of food in my cupboards and I just really want to try it. And it's coming up to lunchtime so I'm really hoping they've got one of their sandwiches in there so that I can have in the car for lunch. Anyway, I thought I'd take you with me and we can have a little look at the selection. Hopefully they've got a good amount in this Tesco's. We shall see. But I'm really looking forward to trying it. Just stuck in traffic so I thought I would chat some more. Um, I feel really overwhelmed with the amount of vegan options out at the moment. Like I don't know where to start. I feel like there's so many new releases. Um, I can't even remember all the stuff that's come out. <laughs> if anyone has any favourites that are like new this month or whatever, then comment below and let me know and I'm going to make a list and try and slowly but surely get round everything. I can't believe how busy everything is at like one o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. Jeez. I just need to do a hand wipe because my hands feel disgusting. So considering that's just like an average size Tesco's, I was really pleased with the amount they had in there. They had three sandwiches. I picked up the smashed pumpkin falafel one which looks really good. I'm gonna eat that in a second. I didn't really like the look of the tofu sandwich. I'm not really sure if tofu in a sandwich is for me, but thumbs up for their imagination on that one. So yeah, they had the sandwiches, they had a couple of salad bowls in the lunch section. And then round in the like ready meal section, I think they probably pretty much had the whole range. I don't know though. I'd, I need to do some more research and see what the whole range consists of. But they had the things that I'd seen online and I thought, oh, that looks nice. So I picked up the two different pizzas. I picked up two Indian style dishes, but they're different. And two pasta style dishes, but again, they're different. I mean, four pound a pop, it is pretty expensive. And I, I don't think it's something that you do for like dinner every night of the week anyway, because... I mean, we tend to cook from scratch a lot as well. I know not everyone can do that um, or has the time to do that, but that's how we prefer to eat. But I think meals like that are amazing for like, if you're just, I don't know, if you're rushing to get home from work and you can't be bothered to cook or the occasional night, um, you can just go into Tesco's now and get a ready meal, which is pretty damn impressive. My only gripe with this range is that I haven't seen one thing that can be frozen yet. I pretty much checked all the ones in there because for me those nights where we tend to not want to cook tend to be nights where we go to the freezer and I feel like it would be really good to have some of those meals in the freezer but none of them that I've seen can be frozen. If you know what ones can be frozen because I've had a couple of people say to me there are ones that can be frozen then comment below and let us all know because I feel like that's the only thing that lets this range down like I want to be able to put them in the freezer I want them there for a night when I really can't be bothered to cook or be bothered to go to the shops um 
but that's my only gripe so far. Okay, let's see what this sandwich tastes like. So this is dressed with punchy harissa dressing made with rapeseed oil, corn flour and Dijon mustard, crunchy veg and roasted pepper hummus on tomato bread. Yum. And it says it's mild, so it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Whoa, each pack 533 calories. That's a lot and that's why I don't tend to eat many like pre-packaged things because I just feel like it's a waste of calories. They always tend to be like quite calorific. I feel like this is going to go everywhere. It's a normal sized sandwich cut in half and the filling looks super deep. I'm so hungry, I'm so I'm really ready for this. Mmm. First bite, very nice. It's got um it's got a little bit of smokiness to it. The only thing with this sandwich is the falafel's very like flaky it's like all in bits and it is literally going everywhere right now i'm gonna have to get out and dust myself off in a minute this is really nice i mean i guess a falafel isn't the most inventive of things but sometimes i like i would go for something like this over the tofu sandwich the tofu sandwich nah it is a bit spicy but i quite like that because i think sometimes falafel wraps or sandwiches can just be really lacking in flavor but this has got a little kick to it. So for anyone local <clears throat> that follows me, this is the um, Tesco's at Bishop Stortford. Oh, I just wish this falafel just wasn't as <laughs> breaking up everywhere. I find like ready meals and stuff can be really hit and miss. So I'm really looking forward to trying the ready meals. Um, basically like we won't be having them tonight, but I think tomorrow we'll probably have the pizza and then over the weekend the other dishes. So. When we're eating them, I'll pick this camera up again and we'll show you what it looks like and do our little taste test reaction. Morning everyone, so I'm back home now and yeah, it's the next day from my picking up my food haul from Tesco's and we're just about to have some lunch. So I was gonna pick one of the Wicked Kitchen things or a couple, because me and Andy will share. I think we're gonna go for pastery. Let's just get them out of the fridge. So we're gonna share a couple of the pasta dishes and have them with like some salad and stuff. And then later on tonight, I think we're gonna have the pizza. They've all got quite soon uh, use by dates on them. So I'm quite uh, conscious that we have to eat them quite quickly. Um, so the first one we're gonna go for is the barbecue butternut mac, which I think looks amazing, but actually quite a few people have mentioned on my Instagram that this was one of their least favorites. So. That's kind of lessened my hopes for this one, let's just say. So this one has to go in the microwave. Remove sleeve, loosen lid. Heat on full power for two minutes, 15 seconds. Stir then heat for another one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, and Nana's mushroom bolognese, which looks good, it's like tagliatelle. And this one is, oh, this one's just four minutes in the microwave. So yeah, I'm gonna pop them in the microwave now and I think I'm gonna uh, get Andy to make up some salad to go with it and then we're gonna have lunch and see what we think of these. This one's out the microwave now, smells pretty good. Andy's prepping some salad to go with it, it does smell for a bit good. of healthiness. So this is what the plate of food looks like. We've got the mushroom bolognese there, which looks good, and the barbecue mac, which also looks very good. What's making it go? Let's try the barbecue butternut mac first. Oh, I do have a bit of mac on mm. it. doesn't really matter what it's got on it. It has a stomach like one. I quite like that. I prefer that to um, like ones that are just like really fake cheesy. Yeah, it isn't cheap. It's not it? really. It isn't cheap, like fake cheese, is it? No. What's giving it the creamy butternut squash? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's better. I really like that. I'm surprised mm. people have said to me that they haven't liked that one that much. I'm right. The barbecue butternut mac is really good, in my opinion. It all comes down to personal taste at the end of the day. Like some people haven't liked this one, but I really like it. 
I'll be that again. Mm. That stuff is, you can see it's just like almost like mashed up about like squash. Yeah. Okay, let's try the mushroom bolognese. I like that this has got like shredded carrot in it as well. Yeah. These are like two of my favourite things. What? Mac and spaghetti bolognese. Oh yeah. Mm. That's a really good one. <clears throat> I like that as well, like even though it's um it's like packaged food, it's all like really natural ingredients. There's no like E numbers yeah. or anything fake in it. it. Tastes like something you'd cook yourself, doesn't it? Yeah. Summarising thoughts. Thumbs up. I'd give both of them like an 8 out of 10, I think. <clears throat> you? Yeah. I think the barbecue mac is probably going to be more of a personal choice kind of flavour. Whereas the mushroom bolognese, like, I'm pretty sure everyone would like that. There's not really <clears throat> anything to not like about that. And I would buy both of them again. It's now Friday night and we've just got in from the cinema and we went to see Pitch Perfect 3 and I thought it was really disappointing compared to the first two films and he's just trying to make as much noise as possible compared to the first two films which I loved it didn't really seem to be anywhere near as good as them which was disappointing but it was okay it was an easy watch um, but yeah we're gonna have dinner now and we're gonna have the pizzas the Wicked, Wicked Kitchen pizzas that I bought so we are going to share these. Caponata, wood fired sourdough topped with aubergine and caper caponata and a pop of zingy salsa. Looks interesting. I'm not sure what this green Pesto, looks like it. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it though. Um, and then this one looks really good. Barbecue mushroom. Yeah, that looks super nice. So how long do they have to go in the oven for? Do, 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 do. Oh, you can freeze these. You can freeze the pizzas. It wouldn't probably be as good though. It's pretty bad. That's sweet. good to know though. Mm. Does that one say it as well? Oh yeah, no, of course yeah, you can freeze, freeze pizzas. Can't yeah, you can freeze both the pizzas. So, uh, eight to ten minutes, eight to ten minutes on both of them. Nice and quick then. We wasn't sure if we wanted this dressing on the pizza, so we've put it on a little side bowl and um, I might dunk my crust in it. Looks good. It's nice. It's a nice base. Yeah, it's nice and thick, isn't it? It's sour though, isn't it? Mm. That's pretty tasty, that. Mm. Wow, that one's quite hot. Spicy. Mm. The barbecue, was it barbecue mushroom? Mm. It's got some chilies on it, it's quite hot that one. I'd say that one was a lot more spicier than I thought it was going to be, but the base is really nice, it's really thick. Um, well, not really thick, but it's more like a deep pan than anything else um, and really flavoursome it's really nice another empty plate and he was just like oh don't promote them too much otherwise we won't be able to get hold of it ever again i was really impressed with the pizza everything i've had so far i've really liked i've either just lucked out on what i've picked or it's all just really good um tomorrow or sunday we'll be trying the remaining indian dishes so i'll log back on and see you then so tonight we're gonna have these we've got curried cauliflower onion bhaji and coconut rice and gunpowder potato chana masala four minutes all right and here they are a mixture and match of both lovely job this looks good, so what is what? That's the curried cauliflower, onion bhaji, coconut rice. That is gunpowder, potato, china masala, chickpeas, potatoes, and 
saffron rice, that is it? Mm. We just remembered we had mango chutney in the cupboard as well, so we're gonna have some of that on the side. I just realised I'm powering through and not giving any feedback. <laughs> but the one this side, which was the Convenient. curried collie onion bhaji and coconut rice was amazing. And this one is also really good, the gunpowder potatoes, but I think out of the two, I prefer the flavours of this one, but this is still really good. What do you think? <clears throat> What's your favourite? Uh, yeah, I think, I don't know, I haven't got a favourite, I think I like both of them. I'm sorry. They're good, like, aren't they? Hmm. They're so much better than I thought they were going to be. It tastes like if you were to get <clears throat> like vegetable stuff from the Indian, but just like without all of the fat and oil. <clears throat> yeah, they it's definitely like, taste like healthier versions. Mm, but it still tastes quite authentic. So this was my favorite out of the two, but I did like both of them a lot. Um, I'd say go for this one if you prefer less spicy. It was a more kind of sweet than spicy. Um, really, really tasty. The gunpowder potato chana masala was also really nice, but I think this one's a little bit more spicier. It's got a little bit more of a kick to it, um, but still really nice. And they both just taste like really authentic and healthy as well. Morning guys. So I'm just gonna end this video now. I'm just on my way out and then so I'm in my dressing room. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I've been so impressed with the Wicked Kitchen meals. Like I, I've often found ready meals to be really hit and miss, um, especially ones from supermarkets. Like, I've always considered M&S to have quite good ready meals, but not so much since I've been vegan. Um, but I would honestly say that I would give the Wicked Kitchen range a really good 9 out of 10. The only reason I haven't given it 10 out of 10 is because I think £4 per dish is probably on the expensive side, especially considering that a curry dish that I picked up from M&S was £3.50 so it's coming out more expensive than M&S which is crazy I, I would prefer to see it more at like £3.50, £3 um, considering it's Tesco's but just a little qualm um, and my other qualm is that I would like to see the whole range or the most of the range to be freezer friendly but aside from that I'd give it 9 out of 10 it was really tasty I would have every dish that I bought again, definitely. I think either I picked really good ones or the whole range is really good. Massive well done to Wicked Kitchen and Tesco's on this range. It is really good. And I'm definitely gonna go back and get some more at some point. And I, I think I'll probably try some of the other dishes available, but I'm so surprised that I really liked every dish that I picked up. I thought there might be one or two that I was a bit like, mm, maybe not, but everything I tried was really good. Excellent, in fact. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll see you again soon. Bye!